What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we hop into that, do me a huge favor. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So let's dive into this guy here. This is something that I picked up uh, in my normal travels through Amazon. I saw something that looked very, very interesting. Wait till we get into this thing. You're going to be, uh, I think, fairly surprised or pretty surprised. At least that's what my hopes are because this thing looks fantastic. I'm hoping it performs, you know, the functions of it are like it looks because this thing looks amazing. So we have a Trevisa here, pretty apparent. We have a nice little sleeve. Then we have a two-stage box here. And Trevisa has pretty good packaging uh, as far as I'm concerned. You get a little microfiber cloth. And they've definitely come a long way since they uh, first started up. You get a couple of different cards. Oh, they have a QC Pass card. That's a nice touch. Uh, not too long ago, 1212. Okay. And then uh, a pamphlet. And then they send you with a uh, little pouch here, drawstring pouch. Then we have our knife in a foam insert in a sealed plastic baggie. So take a look at this thing. We'll get you guys zoomed in here and take a look at this. So this is coming from Trivisa and they manufacture their own knives. They have their own designs. This bad boy is coming in micarta. Has a micarta backspacer. Has a deep carry clip. The clip is recessed. The screws are not. And then we also have option for lefty carry. This has a cutout and a rear flipper tab for deployment. Let's see what this guy looks like here. Can we? Oh, easily. Oh, look at that blade. So, guys, this caught my eye. And... The price tag on this is absolutely insane. Uh, let's see what we got for steel here. 14C28N. And, I mean, guys, at this point, I I love 14C, guys. I used to be, and I still am, a huge fan of 154CM. But to be honest with you, I mean, for, uh, 154 really has its place. It does. But 14C, guys, it's just such a, you know, and it depends on what you need, what you use, and what your intentions are for the given knife you're looking at. Uh, everything is kind of circumstantial and, you know, situationally dependent. Now, I like knives in all different calibers, but I really appreciate steels that are very tough you know, extra tough. All steel is pretty tough. But there's something to be said for a steel like 14C that is super steel tough. Uh, you know, one of the toughest steels that you can get in a, a knife. Uh, it is extremely, extremely tough. There's not many steels that are tougher than 14C. It's also very corrosion resistant and it has decent edge retention, not the best, but uh, easy, easy to sharpen back up. So we have a nice clean drop point blade. We have this little up sweep here into this chamfer that goes down into the tip there. That satin finish is very very nice and I like this touch with the cutout it's not all the way through so you have these two little windows on both sides and they're nice and deep so you'll be able to really get in there and thumb flick this guy out you'll be able to reverse flick it plenty of access there uh, you can get to the top and the bottom so it really doesn't matter you know where you're at on there you can get it from the top bottom middle and then it looks like the same yeah it's going to be the same on both sides so they did that 
very well. Even though you have this kind of point here that comes out of the chamfer on both sides, you can easily get to this uh, cutout. And then the flipper tab is done very well. It's jimped all the way around. So you get tons of traction on that guy. A little bit of jimping here. What not mind seeing that kind of ran out a little bit farther, you know, somewhere in this ballpark out in here. Sharpening choil is not too bad. It's not the best either. Uh, could have been back just a little bit more, and that would have gave us quite a bit more. But you'll be able to get a few sharpenings out of this, and, you know, you could notch your own in there. But for the price tag of these guys, which is going to be like right around 50 bucks, that is, this is an insane value right here if all things hold up. Uh, we have great access with a chamfer and jimping on the liner. Love that. I really, really appreciate that. Not only do they chamfer it, but they jimp it too, which is a beautiful touch. Clean show side blade. They just have their little logo on the pivot. Perfectly acceptable with me. Uh, that's how I prefer it. Uh, just, it looks so good. You don't know, you don't know if this is a $50 knife or a $250 knife. And that's, you know, that's the cool thing about knives that stay very clean and, you know, cause this could easily be, you know, a super steel, you know, titanium liner locker, you know, you just don't know. And that's kind of the, uh, kind of the cool thing about, companies who do knives like this in this price range and they keep everything sterile uh, for the most part and they just look well over what their intended value is and this is definitely working its way up the ladder the micarta is it's a little different than i'm used to but it's grippy it's nice i don't see any defects it's really clean looking. Uh, like I said, I was late night Amazon shopping uh, the other day. I think Sunday maybe. And just roaming around and I saw this thing pop up. And I was like, ooh, I never seen that one before. And then I saw the size of the blade and the size of the knife. And I was like, hell, you know, with the price, I was like, I might as well pick that up. Three and three quarters of total blade. You're getting a little bit more than three and a half on your cutting edge. And then this bad boy is coming down eight and a quarter very strong. So definitely a good size. If you have, you know, XL hands, you're going to fit on this thing very, very comfortably. Uh, the detent, if you're wondering, pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, could it be a little stronger? Yeah, it could be, but I say that about a lot of knives. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, and the way most people will open this is going to be with that cutout, it is tuned very, very well for that cutout. Uh, the rear flipper, that's where it could be a little stronger for that light switch. Uh, the push button feels very good, nice and snappy. Uh, it's just that light switch and that's part of the problem with doing, you know, a cutout or studs or a hole and combining it with a front or rear flipper. It is tough to get these tuned properly for all the deployment methods and it's possible and it's doable. And this is very close. Uh, so really, uh, realistically keeping everything in perspective, which is what we do here. Uh, it's fine. It, it's really nice at 50 bucks. My Carta 14 C nice, clean blade, great size. Uh, it's kind of hitting all the marks for, for me and what I look for in a knife in this price range. Uh, and, and as far as it being worth more than its price tag. Uh, nice deep carry clip. You're going to have very little showing in the pocket, just ever so slightly the butt end of the knife. Uh, nice, minimal, clean, deep carry pocket clip. And like I said earlier, it will be reversible 
for our lefty brothers out there. So it's going to carry very nicely. Keep in mind, this is just an unboxing, first impressions type of deal. We will do a full overview of this uh, where we go into all the specs and all that sort of thing. Uh, why don't we go ahead and see what kind of edge comes on this knife. So we'll go ahead and start with a piece of very thin SMKW magazine paper. Yeah, that's got a nice, nice little edge on it. Let's see what it can do up against some cardboard. Got just a standard piece, one, one ply here. How can we do this and keep it on the camera? So let's start there. Oh, wow. Woohoo! That's against the grain. Wow. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm barely putting anything on this guy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Plenty of blade there to do those types of cuts. If I didn't say this thing was completely centered out of box, all that flipping and fluting around, still perfectly centered. So right out of the box, nice and centered. As far as lockup, we are pretty early there, about 20%. I don't know, you know, it's not necessarily a cause for concern because there are plenty of knives out there that have proper and you know solid lockup with 20 25 percent lockup so let's just give this a couple love taps and just see make sure it don't close on us now that would have done it there right here yeah that would do it right there so they got they got proper tolerances in there, solid lockup. We're going to test it again in the overview after some break in, you know, some opening and closings. Uh, let this thing break in a little bit, but all in all, guys, nice solid lock. There's no up and down, no side to side, perfectly centered, good early lockup that has proper tolerances. So a lot of things that you know, are appreciative here or to be appreciative of. Uh, yeah, this is a solid design, a solid build. Nice satin 14C drop point blade, nice low tip. Satin finish is beautiful. All the deployment methods work very well. Nice hardware, minimal hardware, body screw. We have an untold pivot there. They make it lefty carryable. Clip is nice and minimal. Lanyard hole for the lanyard fans. Backspacer, the micarta is nice. Yeah, I mean, this thing is, for all intents and purposes, a budget banger, no question. Ergos, feels good in hand. No hot spots off the initial testing here. Yeah, that feels good in hand. So, I mean, for all intents and purposes, this thing is pretty damn solid. So, if you're, you're looking for, you know, something to kind of scratch the itch a little bit, you want to get a new knife, you know, and you don't want to spend a ton of money, or you're looking for an affordable EDC, this might, you know, this might be a good candidate for you to check out. Love that they chamfered and jimped the liner. That's beautiful. Not a ton of companies do that. Let me know what you think of this guy down in the comments, though. I love hearing from you guys. Do you have any Trivisas? Do you have this Trivisa? I think this one's pretty new. Hit the thumbs up button for me. I greatly appreciate it when you do that. 
If you're new and you still haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, go and watch another video here, here, or here, and I will catch you on the next one.